learn to fight. Yo, John Fitch here. And I got another episode of Learn to Fight for you. And we're going to show once again something that we always show, the superiority of grappling. The superiority of grappling. Knowing a little bit of grappling goes a long way in self-defense. You really need to know something. You can't just assume that you're going to carry a gun everywhere and a knife everywhere, and you're always going to have to jump on everybody, and you're always going to strike with uh, precision, accuracy, and devastating impact. Probably not likely. In this situation, we have some road rage. Road rage. And it begins with one man at another man's door. It looks like he has a uh, tire iron in his hand. Uh, he may have possibly been hitting the car, but it starts right as the guy is up on the door. Uh, the guy inside the car opens the door, comes out, and, and rushes him. It's a nice, it's a nice blast double and goes to work. And this will show you once again superiority of grappling. Now, should the guy have gotten out of his car? Should he have waited and let the guy just hit the car and let the car take the damage and wait for police? That that's an argument that could be had. I think you're better off acting than not acting in that situation because that tire and iron breaks the window, cracks the window, you got glass in your face, could cause a lot of problems. I think him coming at your car with a weapon gives you a uh, legitimate reason to amplify your response and use a, use a justifiable means of force against them. Let's jump in and watch what goes down here. You can see the guy's at the door, the door's open. He didn't even take his car out of drive, it idled away. Blasts through him, that blast double, gets on top, lands him ground and pound. Once again, the guy's swinging that baton, that tire iron, whatever he has, that stick. The guy rushes him, pretty decent form on that double leg. He's got his head up, posture's not bad. That guy looks like he's wrestled before. Now once he gets to the ground, it's overkill. Probably going to get a talking to, possibly find or uh, some felony charges. I don't know. He was defending himself, but at a certain point, he's taken that guy out of the equation, and there's no need for the extra. Like, he's got some elbows there, and he lands a few more before he gets up when the camera cuts off. It's a little over the top. If he rushes him, takes him to the ground, lands a couple of those elbows, takes the stick away, walks off, I think we're at a good spot there. He, he did the appropriate level uh, of force needed to deal with the situation, takes a stick away from the guy, and he can wait for police to show up. Um, yeah, the extra, the extra four or five punches at the end there, probably unnecessary. Doesn't really need to go that in depth. You do have to take into account your emotions and if you're not a trained person, if you haven't trained through stressful environments, it's going to be hard for you to turn those emotions off. I mean, this guy stepped to your car with a big stick, with a big tire iron, a crowbar, whatever that is, starts whacking your car. You're going to get, you're going to get heated. You're going to get heated. But you don't want to lose your cool, man. <clears throat> you lose your cool and you go over the top and you use too much force and now you're dealing with legal stuff after the fact. Or you're too emotional and you make a mistake when you're trying to put hands on the guy. When you go into contact, one mistake he kind of made, he left the car and drive. <laughs> you know, if he would have been thinking a little more calm and cool, maybe he would have put that car in park before he took off after him and blasted him into the pavement. Don't, don't pick fights, guys. It's stupid. What was the point? What are these guys winning? What did these guys win in this situation? Some pride, some clout in your hood. You're such a tough guy. I beat up a middle-aged dude with a stick. I'm a stud. I'm such a stud. <laughs> That's silly. Over what? Over some, he took my parking spot. He cut me off. He didn't let me merge into traffic. You got some inner work to do, guys. You got some real inner work to do. It's childish. It's silly. It's dumb. One last time here. The guy's swinging that stick, runs through him with that double leg, good form. A couple of those elbows probably should have been enough. Probably could have stopped there. No need to 
No, no need to take him all the way out. You're not, you're not going to have Big John tackle you and pull you off and have somebody give you a belt afterwards. Do, do the bare minimum necessary to take care of the issue. Otherwise, you're going to have issues afterwards. You're going to have legal issues afterwards. Possible felonies, civil suits. Say you, say you killed the guy in the last couple punches or you, or you, or you mentally handicapped him with those last few punches. Now, you, now you're getting sued by that family. They're coming after you. One way or another. Use your brains, guys. Use your brains out there. Okay, so it's kind of a quick one. Showing how a little bit of wrestling, that guy maybe wrestling junior high or something, he had his ass down, his head up, his, his eyes were on the horizon when he drove through. He attacked behind the knees well, got a nice takedown, stayed on top, and landed some ground and pound. He went over the top with the ground and pound, probably way more than he needed to. A lot more elbows and a lot more punches uh, than necessary to deal with that situation. But you can see, once again, how a little bit of grappling goes a long way. If he wouldn't have known that double leg, if he, if he would have got in bad form, bad technique with his head down, he could have very well ended up underneath the guy. And now he's underneath the guy, sprawling on him, that has a stick, and that guy's going to be hitting him. It's not good. No bueno. It's not good. And then you are always going to have to be taking justifiable use of force into consideration. Because knowing the techniques and being good at the techniques necessary to hurt somebody and do damage to somebody is one part of it. But you have to know when to cut it off. You have to know when you're going too far and when you're putting yourself at risk of, of uh, legal pursuits after the fact. Now, no way am I suggesting that you, you risk your life over a slap on the wrist. If you're really in that situation where you feel like your life is in danger and you have to use appropriate level of use of force and that level of force is, is, is uh, fatal to the other person, but that, that's, that's something that you're going to have to work out <laughs> on your own. But if you're not training and regularly putting yourself in bad situations and fighting yourselves out of bad situations, you're not really going to be able to, to judge that. Everything's going to feel like a life or death scenario, and, and you may get emotional and take things way too far. you got a cool, level head about you, and you're going to get that cool, level head from going through the work, doing, doing the reps, putting yourself in bad situations, knowing the techniques, knowing where you have to switch off and transition to different positions so that you stay in the, the most safest, best place for you. only comes from training doesn't come from buying a magic gun or a magic knife that you carry around with you. You're going to have to put in hours and hours and hours of work on your own and with those tools. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to start cranking out a couple more of these. Uh, probably at least now I'll try to do two of these a week. Make sure you guys are uh, liking, watching, share uh, the content whenever you can. I got programs in the description below that can help you learn to fight and help do the things I'm talking about a little bit better. And I'm always open for seminars, small groups, and uh, private lessons. You guys, just reach out. Thanks for watching again. I'll check you out later.